Uh, so patrimony of the nation is a lupang pamana. Bakit yan nasa preamble? Because it is God who owns it. At atin ang ipakilala, hindi na natin kailangan pang pakilala pa ng marami to. Dahil ito po'y kilala na dito sa Wealth of the Nations program. Yan po'y walang iba kundi si Her Majesty Queen Salvation yes. Lixby. Magandang gabi po sa inyo. Hi, magandang gabi po sa inyo, Canton. Ah, At sa mga listeners, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. At nandito na naman tayo magpapa uh, papaliwanag magbibigay tayo ng mga information na kailangan sa ating mga kabayan. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Your Majesty. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, kaya ko po kayo ni request na mag-guest ngayon dahil gusto ko pa namin mal- ako mismo. Gusto ko maliwanagan tungkol po diyan sa April law. In brief, briefly. Dahil niyo pa ba ako bigyan bigyan kami ng idea. Ano po ba itong April law? Yang April law is actually a United Nations Declaration of Indigenous Rights. So, very important uh, enacted law na sa Pilipinas lang ito na ibigay, na nagiging, na ratify ito ng Congress. Itong everyone, dahil dito lalabas ang primary government sovereignty. So, there's only one government. Once the government is already provided, given, by the commission agency under National Commission of Indigenous Peoples' Rights Act na na-approve ito, na-ratify noong 1997. Ang mission and vision of EPRA 8371 is to seek sovereignty. Lalabas ang may-ari sa lupa, time immemorial, na nandiyan nakalagay sa Section 56. Sa so, ang definition sa Section 56 is as far back memory reaches, time immemorial, kung sino yung nakahawak ng titulo. Eh, ang titulo na pinag-usapan uh, natin dito ay yung Treaty of Paris na nandiyan sa ating Constitution 1935 na iyan ang nagiging original Constitution that was ratified in Congress in 1935 but it was promulgated in 1946. Yes. Okay. Ka Anton. Iyan ang EPRA 8371. Mm-hmm. So meaning, pero ito ay effective so, time. At pwede po ba itong gamitin pa sa contemporary times? I mean, eh, kailan po ba ito na promulgate itong batas na to? 19, panahon daw ni, ano, ni Fidel Ramos. Ang uh, gamitin ito yan, uh, 8371 was actually uh, approved and ratified by Congress in 1997. At mm-hmm. pinirmahan din ito ng Senate and President. And it has 10 years prescription. After 10 years prescription, pag hindi ito na-prescribe, itong uh, ratification ng treaty na ito, malaking problema ang Pilipinas. Somehow, uh, we are actually facing in the, in the end times. Ito talaga lahat mangyayari ng mangyayari. Nabanggit mo kasi yung uh, IPRA law ay meron 10-year prescription period. Yes. Napako doon. In everything that is ratified, may 10 years yan. Like 1987 constitution, it should have been, uh, kasi the mission and vision of the Republic is to seek sovereignty. Uh-huh. So 1997, 1987 approved ang ating amendment on the transitory provision Meaning to say, kailangan mailabas ang sovereign nation, the sovereignty of the Philippines, territorial rights of jurisdiction, lalabas yan 1997 plus one year, sabihin natin 1998. However, ang EPRA 8371, yun ang kanilang ina-approve. Instead, lalabas ang sovereign government nagkaroon ng ratification ng 1997 ang EPRA 8371 kasi dito manggagaling ang patrimony of the nation which is the 
preamble of the Philippine 1987 Constitution. So, yung patrimony of the nation ang sa Bisaya na yutang kabilin. Sa Tagalog, oh, yeah. ano yan? Lupang pamana. Pamana, ayan. Ah. Ah, so, patrimony of the nation is a lupang pamana. Bakit yan nasa preamble? Because it is God who owns it. It is God, the creator, who owns the land, who owns everything, you and me, and everything. God owns it. Iyan ang ibig sabihin ng ating preamble. We, the sovereign Filipino people. Yeah. So, uh, we the are, so Philippines, yeah. yes. So, we Filipino people supposed to be a sovereign citizen. We belong to a sovereign, a royal kingdom. Because the okay. Philippines, Lupang Hinirang, is actually the promise of the Almighty na in the end time, lalabas ang kanyang kaharian. Kingdom. Okay, pero, uh, pero within within that period, ng ma ma, ano itong Ipralo, may, may tenure prescription time, ginawa naman yes. corporate Philippines. So, so, nagkaroon ng so transition. So, ganito ha. So, meron yung milestone. Let's, let's check the milestone okay. of let's, our let's, government. Let's limit our understanding dun sa 10-year prescription time na yun. Kasi I, I want to to understand ano ba ang dapat nun naganap na naganap. Yeah. At yung mga hindi okay. naganap. At yan ba'y paso na after 10 years yung pagka-prescription time na yan? Uh, yes. Na-ratify ang EPRA 8371, Indigenous People's Rights Act. That was actually awarded to a commissioned agency, NCIP. So, NCIP is a commissioned agency. Ahim siya lang po sila, hindi sila gobyerno. So, the NCIP was appointed by the Republic of the Philippine Corporation to seek sovereignty. Ngayon, my prescription period po ang 1997. Now, it has 10 years prescription. So, 1997, 1998, kailangan ma-declare ang sovereign republic. The lost paradise, meaning the lost owner, lalabas na lalabas ang lost owner. Kaya, ang ating kingdom, noong 23, 2008, na promulgate ko pala, not knowing unknowingly ha because all of this are all divine intervention one week event yan na declare natin ang kingdom filipina hacienda the autocratic sovereign monarchy so since then lumabas na ang sovereignty 2008 pa so now we are now in 2019 pero kailan so, to say Sige, sige. Kailan pa dapat mag yon ng 2008? Anong month? Ah. Uh, Kung baka na umabol kayo. I would say, the, the entire, kahit na ano, 2008, gagamitin na lang natin the entire 2008. Ah, least, After 2008, mm -hmm. kung hindi, kung hindi na-ratify or okay. na-promulgate ang, hindi na-promulgate ang so, April 8371, uh -huh. Medyo malaking problema. Siguro, nagkagulo talaga. Itong mga nagki-claim, like King Kuluban. King Kuluban also, the 8371, self-governance, sabukid nun. Nasaan ngayon si that? King Kuluban? Uh, nasa kulungan. Uh, as far as I know, nasa kulungan hmm. siya about three years ago. 2015, okay. nakulong si King Kuluban. 2015, oh. I believe, sabukid nun. Now, Kailan ba niya siya, kingdom? Ha? Kanya, kan kailan niya ginamit yung kanyang kingdom? I mean, na ginamit Actually, yung... Actually, uh, as far as I know, they invited me here in Iligan. They tried to present in Iligan City itong si King Kuluban and they even invited me. And in this invitation, I asked, I don't want to attend in their invocation. Nag-invocation sila dito sa Iligan eh. Oh, pero so, ah, uh, kinabila pa nila ang taga City Hall. After 2008. Okay, yes, so this was actually happened in 2014. Eh. Okay, so uh, malino na po dapat nung, within the 10 year period, the grace period, dapat may mangyari. Okay? May mangyari. Inangyari na. Oh, ngayon, 
nangyari nga na, na nag uh, ang tawag niyo yun? uh, ano pa tawag no na ininstall yung inyong uh, sovereign government within that na ang sabihin na promulgate ko Meaning, promulgate it's ko. already promulgated para parang inusgate nan na-enforce ko na, na-enforce ko na, na naitayo ko na, unknowingly, yun na rin pala. Kasi journey kasi ito eh. Everything okay. is under divine intervention, divine providence. After a while, magising ka lang, uy, ganito pala. Kasi uh, what I do, I grow with what I do. It's growing on me. Kaya even the scripture, the constitution, the... The Treaty of Paris, 1764, all this grows on me. The 1935 Constitution, 1973, 1987, everything just kind of boom. Uh, okay. Oh so my may, God. Gonna, you may know? Na, hindi nyo inaasahan na within that, within that prescribed time, ay napromulgate nyo yung sovereign government by which na kayo lang nakagawa. Now, uh, Ako lang nakagawa. No, after that, Ano na mangyayari noon? Hindi na ba pwedeng then, lang isang kaharian na siya rin ay isang sovereign state? Walang presidente po. Oh, hindi, hindi ako mag-aral ng gobyerno. I am ready to go down. Walang Congress, walang Senado. Wala akong pinapatakbong gobyerno. Walang Supreme Court. Walang problema yan. Na, may na, na hindi nyo inaasahan na within that, within that prescribed time ay napromulgate nyo yung sovereign government by which na kayo lang nakagawa. Now, uh, Ako lang nakagawa. No, after that, ano na mangyayari noon? Hindi na ba pwedeng then, lang isang kaharian na siya rin ay isang sovereign state? Hindi, hindi po. Hindi po. Wala po. In fact, may ibang grupo din na tinatawag na Bogsupay. I think ni, ni, ang kanilang uh, uh, tinutulak dyan yung nasa preamble nga with the sovereign Filipino people, gano'n, 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 gano'n. Yung pala, napasok na tayo sa 10-year prescription time. Now, ngayon, uh, Your Majesty, kung sakali uh, itong grupo naman ni Dato Magsisibya na i-replicate niya yung anyong nasindan, no? kasi clearly, kayo lang ang may existing model ng, ng sovereignty. Yeah. No? Na sa ibuin mo des, yun nakimula kay Jan, uh, justice system, yeah, foundation and process. Oh, nandudun na nakimula sa inyo. At mayroon kayong tribunal, mayroon kayong uh, financial system, then may tribunal bank, ay mayroon kayong tribunal bank, it, may banko kay Jan, etc. At ay yung sa yung foundation ay yung, I mean, yung foundation di yung uh, as a as a corporate entity kundi yung pundasyon. Now, pwede ko bang i-replicate ito sa isang lugar? Halimbawa, dun sa Bukas, bukas grande at gagawin ko rin ang kagaya ng ginagawa ninyo. By which clearly to me, it's clear to me na yun din ang ginagawa nila doon. Oo. It is actually a usurpation of authority. It is actually illegal. Illegal yan in the sense is hindi talaga mangyari. Dahil number one, pres ang, ang prescription period sa declaration ng EPRA 8371 hmm. na ano na eh, lumampas na ang prescription eh. Plus, once ma-declare ang government, because there's only one government, meaning isa lang, ito na ngayon. Kasi hindi ka rin maging gobyerno kung wala kang teritoryo. Kung ang teritoryo sa Bukas Grande is only the Surigao, hindi po ganyan ang ownership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hindi po ganyan ang ownership. Kaya ang ownership is actually an entitlement you can occupy, oh, ang occupation is not the entire din na, na ito lang ang sa atin. Buo yan, ang, ang ownership ko is actually the entire entitlement of the OCT 01-4.
And aside from that, kayo lang ang ni-recognize. Eh. Within the 10 year time frame, tama po ba yun? Oo, na-recognize naman. Kung meron ng gagaya noon, dapat nasa under ng inyong jurisdiction, nasa inyong auspices, sa inyong approval. Tama ba yun? Yes, tama yun. Kung, Kasi, kung hindi yan ibig kung magsakasakali maglalabas kami ng currency, hindi pwede hanggang hindi nyo papayagan. Tama talagang ba yun? Hindi, talagang hindi pwede dahil isa lang ang makakreate ng, ng currency. Ang gobyerno lang mismo. Kung Anong gobyerno? Gobyerno ng, Pilipinas, gobyerno ng KFH. KFH. Kani, kani in the gobyerno? Philippines yan lang. A nation within a nation. So And ito then, talaga ang totoo. Ang atin, eh, ang totoo. Tayo ang sovereignty. And okay. Region 10... Region 10 is the smallest nation that hover above all things. The nation. Kaya ang Region 10, the host of all nation. Okay. So, so it's not I... only Philippines. Ah, ganun ba? Yes. Absolutely. It's not only Philippines. Nalikan natin itong case study. Liminaw na na ikaw ang dapat na mag-enforce nito. Ikaw ang... Ikaw ang implementor. Now, balikan natin itong kaso na yung kaso dyan sa Socorro, Surigao. Uh, itong pag-imprenta pag nila ng panibagong pera, yung tinatawag na G-Zion, uh, ito ba ay in defiance din? Yes, sa that is, makita man natin yan, uh, Ka Anton, on Republic Act 38, this is criminal code. That was actually provided by the United States of America the, in 1932. Before the 1935 was, has constitution was awarded to the Philippines, they already have uh, created this 1930, in 1932, the Republic mm. Act 3815 to protect, to protect the ownership, to protect the sovereign rights, the government, and what did it say? in in uh, in book 1 form 1 what did it say na ang ating teritoryo uh, it will be uh, uh, ang maritime law is actually maritime zone is not a territory so at printing printing currency under forged instrument is actually illegal that is threat of national security so okay. kung nag Kung totoo man na itong nag-declare ng Maharlikan Kingdom, I don't know. Uh, actually, kung nag-create man sila ng G, ng G, C, G, C, G, C, G, C, that is actually a criminal forged instrument. Because Pero, it's only a government, it's only a government that can print money. That excludes you. That excludes the... KFH, that kaya nga excludes KFH. me, yes, because yeah. I own yeah. that. I, I have the land, I am a government, I am sovereignty, I own the gold, I own the gold, mm. who owns the land, owns the gold, and this is the reason why we print the money. And that is written in 1 Maccabee 15. Jan no. kasi... Okay, ang, ang next question ko, uh, paano ko pwedeng gamitin pa yung IPRA law after all after na naglapse na itong 10 year period na to after na wala na itong commission dahil wala na itong indigenous people commission wala na tama yun ano now, yes oh now an paano ko gagamitin pa yung ipra law pwede ko pa pa, pa itong i-invoke ngayon ang tatayo ko nang sa maharlika magtatayo ko nang sarili sariling uh, kasi meron ganoon eh no may may yeah. like tayo ng kuluban ang dami po marami po oh, sila marami po sila, sila. Mga urban people to, mga urban people, pero pumasok sila dun sa indigenous IPRA law, kumukuha ng discount, etc. etc. Pwede pa ba? Pwede pa bang gamitin yun? Wala bang limitation? No. Paki -pali meron paki po. Pakipaliwanan. Meron pong, meron pong limitation. Kung makita nyo, ang Civil Code 386, Article 427, 428, 429, ano ba ang nakasulat dyan? Anong sabi niyan? I have the right to exclude anyone. So, pag nag-declare na, lumabas na ang may-ari, kung sino man ang lalabag sa labas, sa batas, siya ay excluded, mag magiging excommunicated, and that is criminal in behalf of 
the Republic Act 3815, criminal code, because it's only a government that can print money. Even this, ah, yung, yung crypto, Bitcoin. Uh, 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 uh. You know, let's talk about crypto and Bitcoin. Why you think just recently, they already invoke that those are actually fraudulent, also fiat, non-existent. Uh, okay. Mawawala din siya. Okay, nabalikan ko muna itong ano, uh, uh, Euro Royal Highness. Ito ang ano nila, no? Uh, Self-governance. Tama po ba na pwedeng mag-declare sila ng self-governance under the Hindi Ipro? po. Hindi po. Kasi okay. you can only declare self-governance if you have territorial rights. Do you have territory? Do you have, do they have territory? Eh, mga And, lumad naman na sila kasi may mga lumad naman ho sila. So, uh, territory uh, naman nila. Hindi, hindi sila po. Lumad. Hindi po. Lahat maraming mga nag-declare po. Hindi lang po yan si Sir, si Sir Glenn. Hindi lang po si Sir Glenn ang nag-declare. Marami po silang okay. nag-declare po. So ini-invoke dito. Ini-invoke dito. Independent They are supported. They are actually, itong mga mga later na, later part na, na nag-declare ng, ng EPRA, self-governance, these are all supported by the corporate republic. And all of them is under Republic of the Philippine Corporation. And that is already null and void. So, they are declared mm -hmm. under the SEC. Second, ah. registered of security and exchange. So they mm. are actually registered under this premise. But the Republic of the Philippine Corporation is already expands. I already issued yeah, co-warranto. Yeah, yeah. Co-warranto. Okay, Wala so na eh. it's, no it's, no, it's no longer right or it's no longer correct to it's no longer correct. invoke Kasi, independent yes. customary law under Section 19. Yes. Because because the NCIP is already repelled. Wala uh, na. But na I yun. adapted, yeah. I adapted the law of EPRA 8371. Okay. Now, the, self, yan. the self governance section 13. Hindi na rin to pede. Hindi na. Kasi na ina invoke ko na eh, na declare ko na yan eh, na promulgate na. In Bakit? implementing It, rules and the rules yes. part two, section one, pursuant to RA 83. 71. Expans yes. na rin ito. Expans na yan. Kasi na-invoke ko na, na-promulgate na ko na eh, na-adapted uh, adapted na yan ng sovereign crown eh. Eh ngayon, kung ano, kasi. gusto namin magtayo, gusto namin uh, ma-exercise yan. Ang, ang, ang IPRA, mga sinasaad dyan sa IPRA lo, anong dapat namin gawin? Hindi Then na pala they po. have, ang ano yan, ang gagawin nila, is they have to create, the, they have to start to work on the grassroots. Grassroots means community. Now, kung saan man sila, ang mga tao, where community they situated, sila, kailangan they have to embrace sovereignty, then I will award them, I will grant them the land. The land will be granted to the community, and then within that community, they have to find their leader. This is why the sovereignty ah, is a government of the people starting grassroots level. Hindi yan doon sa itaas sa presidente. Walang presidente po. Oh, hindi, hindi ako mag-ari ng gobyerno. I am ready to go down. Walang Thank Congress, walang you. Senado. Wala akong pinapatakbo ng gobyerno. Walang Supreme Court. Walang problema yan. Dahil the court starts in the ground. Iyan ngayon ang yun ang uh, ano bang tawag niyan? Sa ad, tribunal barangay sa atin meron tayong ating judicial sa tribe, tribunal okay. court. Okay. Meron tayong tribunal court. No, nakasins nakapasok kayo dun sa prescribed time, no? Nakahabol tayo photo finish. Yes. <laughs> photo so, finish it, talaga. It, it, cannot be, ngayon, it cannot be reverted. Ah, ikaw na ngayon ang tagapagdala. Nung IPRA Law 8370, tama. Kayo yes. nang tagapagdala, kayo yes. nang, ang uh, tawag niyan, yung... Is, uh, I rule. I am the ruler. Actually, ang ginawa natin, uh, uh, Ka Anton, is from the corporate republic, I actually restore the lost constitution of the corporate republic for the Filipino people. For our country, I restore the rights of the people. Ayon kay... Queen Salvacion ay dapat di sumaklaw sa kaharian ng Kingdom Filipina Hacienda dahil po yan ilalabas na 
illegal o hindi sa kanyang sanction and this ay auspices ng uh, ng Kingdom Filipina Hacienda dahil siya ang kinasihan inatang sa kanyang balikat ang essence no ang essence yung kabuhan ng April law Republic of the Philippines is now a shadow government. Walang Republic of the Philippines. Shadow ka government is... The Republic of the Philippines has been reduced to an artificial being. Actually, a deep state, a corporation. It's in the hands of the oligarchs who are a bunch of the son of a bitch. Now, what is worse is... The corporate republic now is under state of emergency federal government. Tignan mo talaga kung Pilipino ka, papayag ka ng ganun. Now, who promulgate the 1987 Constitution under transitory provision. So, transitory provision, meron kasi sa Article 16 mm. of the 1987 Constitution, Section 2, mm. there will be a new government mm. that will resemble our ideals. We have our own emblems. We have our own national anthem. All this has own all being created. You cannot be a nation without a banner, an emblem, a flag. Mm. So our flag is a symbol of who we are. Mm. This is the reason why the sovereign nation, Kingdom Philippine Hacienda, we have a different flag from the Republic of the Philippines. Because Republic of the Philippines is now a shadow government. Shadow government is actually a deep state, a corporation. Now, what is worse is the corporate republic now is under state of emergency federal NGO, under United Nations. This is the most critical things because in a federal state, state of emergency, ang mag-empower dito is police empowerment and this is illegal in our country we are god's chosen land ang lupang hinirang that's one reason why nung nakausap ko si attorney basilio wandag director director basilio wandag nasiya ang legal director of the national commission of indigenous people's rights act equivalent siya ng ng osg OSG ng Republic of the Philippines, itong si Director Basilio Wandag. So ano siya? Nakausap ko siya. Kasi I was trying to ask help from him to all their lawyers to help me promulgate the Constitution. Ipopromulgate ko yung Constitution or even so, the third rep of execution, possession, and demolition. So itong third alias, rep of execution, possession, and demolition, ito yung aking rights as a movement that I have to self-empower it and I was actually being advised by the, corp, by the Court of Appeals. At ang sabi sa akin, Majesty, you have to execute the third alias, rep of execution, possession, and demolition because that is your entitlement as far as the LOT, Letter of Transmittal, is concerned para ang ating constitution ay mapromulgate because the 1987 constitution has not been promulgated. Instead, it has been corrupted. So our system since 1987 has been corrupted by the administration of the corporate republic of the Philippines. This is the reason why in 2000, they're trying to 
to create a charter chains. Charter oh. means corporate. Mm. Corporate yan. But they were not able to declare a government on the charter because they do not have authority anymore, the Republic of the Philippines. So, medyo lumilinaw na sa akin yung uh, simula sa preamble, etc. etc. At ikaw ang tagad enforcer, kumbaga. Ikaw ang implementor. Pagdating ako ang sa... implementor. Ako ang nagpromulgate mismo. Oh, oh. Which Time I really it. need help. I really need help uh -huh. for the corporate republic to embrace sovereignty para sila okay. naman maging katulong din sila. But we can, I cannot just embrace them also. I cannot just accept them without denouncing. They have to denounce the federal administration, the federal, the Illuminati uh -huh. form of government, the, in, the, in the, the NGO. So, sa makatuwid, itong Kingdom Philippines Asyende ay pumasok sa In, in so far as constitutionality is concerned, pasado. pasado. In, so far, in so far as recognition and acknowledgement or pagkakila, pagkilala ng Suprema, ng Supreme Court Suprema, pasado. Pasado po. Okay. Uh, pasado sa, po tayo. Sa legislative naman ho kaya, pasado rin mo pa tayo. Well, Naunin naman, yun. hindi na kailangan eh. Oh, hindi na ko na kailangan. Um, Na-satisfy nyo na yun. Na-satisfy nyo na yun. Na-satisfy ko na kasi ako ang nag-promulgate sa constitution eh. Sa oo. executive, siyempre iba. Dahil magkakaroon na nga ng... <coughs> ng kasi, uh, oo. Chatting. Ang executive, hindi na. Kasi na-empower ko ang executive power through Republic Act 7160. Under Section 384. Ang, ang Republic Act 7160, Local Government Code, Ang Section 384, iyan ang hinahanap which the Corporate Republic of the Philippines do not have the Section 384. That's the same thing as the Corporate Republic of the Philippines do not have Article 1 of the Constitution. Tandem yan. Tandem ang Local Government Code on Republic Act 7160 and our Constitution, the Mother Constitution, the Covenant, Article 1. Wala sila niyan. Kasi ang Article 1 of the 1987 Constitution and uh, Republic Act 7160, Section 384, isa lang yan. One person, one instrument for the constituency of all. Then comes the 1987, April 8371, that will reign the sovereignty, God's promised kingdom. Time immemorial. This is the reason why in April 8371, mandato po ito that the corporate republic has and the entire citizen has to respect the spiritual bondage and all our heritage of the April 8371, the indigenous rights. So indigenous meaning is time immemorial, noble men, hindi yan indigenous po. I have ah. to make a very clear definition between two different subjects, two definitions. Indigenous oh. means noble men, time immemorial. Now, I mean, indigenous are, ginilabel yan ng corporate republic, ang indigenous hmm. parang indigenous, very ugly, very, very unethical and very ugly. Dahil ang indigenous ginawa nilang indigenous. Well, <laughs> okay. so, I am mean, not supported by the by the corporate republic i have okay. no one cent no one cent let me repeat i know the entire government is listening to this and they can also deliver this message to them not a single cent was given in this declaration for the last 18 years of my journey 24 7. and here we are now everything i have earned Now I will give it back to the people. So ibig sabihin na uh, Queen, Queen Salvacion eh supposed to be bad dapat during the transitory transitory transit during the transition dapat ba sinusuportahan kayo ng gobyerno? Yung bang ibig sabihin? Dapat. Dapat po. Kasi yun ang totoo lang dapat. Okay. Now, ibig mong sabihin din itong gobyernong ito but maging yung past previous governments ma uh, since 2008 were in defiance doon sa sinasaad sa yes. constitution. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. They are actually, they are actually under treason. Under they treason. have committed the nation treason. Okay, okay. Pero dun sa, uh, lilinawin mo natin, ano, hindi tayo si Sessionist Movement, kundi ito yung pinag-uusapan yung dimension. Napalagay natin yung dimension. O yung, yung perspektiba na dito sa sovereign Philippines. Transition, then, actually, ang ginawa natin, uh, uh, Kanton, is from the corporate republic, I actually restore the lost constitution of the corporate republic for the Filipino people. For our country, I restore the rights of the people. Mm. Kasi, ang rights of the Filipino people has been corrupted by right. the system this, through the, corporate this, papalitan this nila ng Illuminati Federal, which moment, is illegal. Up to, very, up to this very moment, syempre, nasa kanila yung military, nasa kanila yung power, etc., etc. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, uh, Canton, it does not mean because sila ang nakaupo dyan, sila ay tama. The, we have to awaken the Filipino people because mm. under the Constitution, Article 2, if I have, I don't have the uh, art, Article 2, Section 3. Ano ang sinasabi? The, the, the Filipinos, the citizen is above the military. Because oh. in, mm. ang nung nangyari ngayon under federal, nawala ang constitutional rights ng mm. mga tao kasi Correct. under the rule of law rule of law means covenant the constitution ang mm. sinabi ng article 2 section 3 ang sinabi diyan na ang citizen Filipino citizen the sovereignty is above military anong mm. nangyari ngayon diyan sa Pilipinas anong nangyari sa federal anong nangyari sa corporate republic or federalism so, it na- is the military who has power there uh, is no more power from the Filipino people. They can be they can be put in the slammer without justice. Uh, Realize uh, this, Ka Anton. Even the government themselves, they already have all the the uh, the lawyers. They have all the brains in the sovereign republic of the uh, uh, on the corporate republic of the Philippines. They have all the brains, but nobody understood what I do because this is mm-hmm. wisdom. You mm. have to have a clean heart. You have to have a clean intention of your work. If you are not divinely inspired, you will never understand. The people who are only divinely inspired are the only ones who can understand. Ah, okay. Kasi siyempre, pwede... And embrace sovereignty. Minsan talaga nagtataka ako, may mga nagsasabi nga na, hindi ba si Queen Salvation eh, parang secessionist mm. movement? <laughs> Pero hindi naman hinuhuli. Nag-imprenta ka nang sa yung de- denomination currency, hindi ka naman hinuhuli. So, hindi ko nakita yung essence noon. Kaya siguro, Because I, doon, am, I am the only legitimate government ayun. in the world. One world government. Realize this. I create a one world government because I have the global territorial jurisdiction under covered under the federal OCT-01-4. Okay. The world at last. So, kung I gaya doon, adapted if you have, it. I if, it. You have, if you have a limited understanding of what uh, Kingdom KFH is all about, or yung mga, yung foundation mo, yung mga, yung, 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 punda, yung fundasyon, yung baseline na architecture ng iyong, ng ating KFH, no? So, makakala natin is, Kala ko, ako, ako, pwede rin ako mag, mag, uh, mag-create na o mag-print ako ng sarili kong pero dahil ba't si Queen Salvation hindi inuhuli? Uh, bakit si Queen Salvation? You know, eh, ako hindi. Ako, siguro kaaway mo ako. Kaaway mo ako, Digong. Ganun, ganun, ganun. Siyempre, ganun ang iisipin ko. Uh, okay? So, uh, antayin natin. Medyo nap- naputol si Queen Salvation. Nating babalikan siya maya-maya. Uh, yun, na- na- at least nalinawan ako. Naputol lang si Queen Salvation. Siya babalik siya maya-maya. No? Dahil, uh, Napahaba yata yung aking at tanong. Okay. Uh, lumili na po na meron siyang ano, meron siyang uh, pinangahawakan, kumbaga, na hindi pwedeng gayahin. Yes. Let me explain. Naputol ka, naputol ka. The Sandali. National Bureau of Investigation. Oh, okay. Oh, Are you? Okay. okay. Para maliwanagan ho kami. Ano okay. po sabi ng NBI? Actually, NBI came over to the house so about three months ago. NBI came here to check about 
my passport, the passport from my sovereign. Uh, I have uh, a sovereign ambassador in Singapore. They want to check if his passport was legal and his passport was actually created and installed by the sovereignty, Kingdom Filipina Hacienda. So they came and so everything was justified. Now listen to this. It was very funny because they want to, they, they check if I am really a government. So they were convinced because the, the legal came here that you uh, a government is territorial rights and the people without territory there is no government so that was very clear with them and i also showed him that we already printed our own currency now when i showed them about their currency they said wow does that mean i also can print my own currency then i said you know what you can print your own currency if you want if you think that is that easy, print your own money, but please do not get me involved with it. I have nothing to do with your own declaration. And so he said, no, it was only a joke. Ah, uh, you know, but that was very interesting. To end that in the to end that investigation, they end up wanted to work and to work with us. They are trying to get their ID and I already had sent them their, um, the invitation for them to work with us, but I just waited until the uh, mobilization funds will, be, will, will come in place. The Corporate Republic of the Philippines embraced federalism because the Corporate Republic of the Philippines embraces federalism instead of sovereignty and the AFP under they have an art under their preamble. If you go check, the preamble of the armed force of the Philippines is to protect sovereignty. Why is the military supporting the federal? That is illegal. This is the reason why it is unethical. They are all under defiant treason rebelling against the constitution of the filipino people the a constitution okay. is the rule is the rule of law rule of law is constitution covenant yan, the supreme law uh -huh. of the land kaya nahirapan sila talaga sa to, to world order the united nation wants to declare uh -huh. the the one world government which becomes one world order. world order means federal state of emergency the Philippines right now is experiencing a, a state of emergency, federal. So federal is a state of emergency process. Lawless, yet it's a lawless, an enforcer on military without law. Yan ang problema ngayon ng ating bansa. Mm. So, eh, gina, but, gina, because, mm. but because of our declaration na tinapos ko talaga at meron na tayong sariling pera, you see, last Friday, what happened last Friday? The Philippines stock exchange collapsed. They had been shut down. Shut down means wherever na yan, wala na. Kasi, ito din nangyari. Ang nangyari noon sa 19 America, where the stock exchange was actually collapsed, was shut down. Actually, that was America shut down ang stock exchange. 100 years later, tayo na naman. Okay, okay. Shut down ngayon. Uh, so, so what does that mean? So nakikita ko ang challenge, challenge ninyo ngayon talaga napakabigat dahil unang-una ini-ignore lang. Napakabigat. Sa and totoo then, lang. And I hope, I hope Filipino people and the rest of the the world will will actually appreciate what I fight and, for. Because lang I lang fight lang. for, not for myself, I fight for God and country. Maraming 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 salamat po sa walang sawang pagtangkilik at pagsuporta sa The Filipino Times featuring the Divine Legitimate Government, Kingdom Filipina, Shenda, the Sovereign Host Nation. 
Kami po ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa walang samang pagsubaybay sa aming mga programa sa pagsiwalat ng katotohanan. Nawa po tayo po ay magkaisa para po sa isang layunin upang maitaguyod ang inang bayan bilang isang makatao, makajos, makabansa at makakalikasan, malaya at nagkakaisa. Maraming salamat po.